Hello, Duckies. Make a, another video now that I'm in Africa in Metal Gear Solid. In the first few videos, I complained about how barren and boring the landscape was, and well, Africa's exactly what I wanted to be. Lots of dense bush everywhere. Lots of lots of rain because you miss rain when you're playing the desert for so long. You've got child soldiers and you know all that good stuff that you find in Africa nowadays. So this mission I'm just trying to um, extract a few prisoners. I just thought I'd see how quick I can run through it and get an S rank. Even though I mess up at the end and I do kill a guy because I'm actually retarded at like things like that. So we'll just uh, tank these guys and then head into the base quick fast. There's a lot of features in this game that haven't been in other Metal Gear Solid games like the uh, the combat alert isn't like a block in the top corner anymore so it takes a while to get used to if they've seen you or not. We have the uh, the reflex system, still not 100% sure why they put that in, I mean Metal Gear Solid games used to be really unforgiving so I just feel that's like a bit of a crutch for the newer players. But you know. Nowadays there's a trend where they're making games easier for the, the people new to the franchise whereas all the old hands just kind of have to put up with all the, the new gimmicks for a while. I love where they all get so confused when somebody just falls over to sleep. But yeah, we just take these guys out to the front and then annoyingly I go round the back and grab the guy to stun him and put him asleep. But for some reason I hit the Y button and stabbed him in the chest and lost my no kill bonus for this mission but it means it's not the end of the world I think I still get the S rank but it would have been a better rank here you go, just check where that jeep is save this prisoner, go outside, bolt him there out and then go get the other guy on top of the hill I was nice to show that man around here and the fault it makes it a lot easier. It's a bit of a bit of a pain in the ass when the the injured and you can't really extract them that way. You gotta carry them to a helicopter. It seems to like be the few missions where they want to drag out the gameplay a little bit. But as you can see, just running and doing these missions is really quick. And this was a story mission as well. I mean, I'm not sure why it was there. It just seems like generic filler. But I mean, they obviously have a reason for putting them in. And there you go. Just extract that guy. I will be posting more um, S rank missions in the next few days. I've just been starting the videos on them, just trying to, uh, trying to get enough to post up once every two days or once every few days. But a lot of it's just spoiler related, so I want to wait a while before the game. Before I start spoiling for people, if you know what I mean, I don't want to ruin it while the game's still new. Because I unknowingly clicked on a video and it, it ruined the ending for me so I don't want that to happen for anybody else well at least not on my channel so we just was it exfiltrate the hot zone and then we should see the rank and come up that I got for this mission which should be a S rank unless I remembered something wrong and that bloody face swag that he's got going on as well Development project has been added. Mission complete, boss. Yeah, there you go. The last that no kills bonus, but still got an S rank. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.